guys welcome back to my channel how have you been it has been such a long time since i've said that to you guys and this is my first video on my channel in a while um i am gonna do like a life update video for you guys but that's not today today my very first video back is my absolute favorite kind of video that i've done on my channel um it is going to be my halloween haul so far for 2023 um bear with me with the lighting in this one i have got the window open because it's 25 degrees out if you know you know spooky season starts like end of june beginning of july when you can go out and you can start buying all the stuff for halloween and i am that person now and if you <laughs> I mean if you know me you'll know that my personality is a mix of like some things that really don't go together um but spooky season has always been one of those things i absolutely love i've always been your basic bitch pumpkin spice latte living my best autumnal life so today's video is my halloween haul so far all of the stuff i bought for spooky season um i will show you what i've got i've got a lot to be fair i didn't realize how much i had until i like laid it all out for this video and then i was like damn i bought a lot is this all i'll buy no it's not will i buy more yes i will but am i going to share with this stuff with you guys now of course i am so let's get into this video i'm sure we'll chit chat along the way but i just wanted to give you a little haul as our first video back to the channel um on a side note before we get into the haul um this is not my first video back to youtube okay it's my first video back on my own channel for youtube for a long time but i have been doing something else i have been recording videos with uh nicole over on alan and cole and it is linked for you down in the description um uh, we have been doing true crime videos so we love true crime and we talk about it all the time and we're like oh we should do a podcast um nicole and i do stream together on twitch we stream horror games on twitch i'll get into that a little bit later on um but we were talking oh we should do a true crime podcast and then we decided hey let's do true crime videos on youtube so we have been smashing it over there um on alan and cole which as i said is down in the description box if you love true crime if you love that oh my god i can't believe he did that how is she getting away with this type of crime go and give us a follow over there because you are bound to find a story that you love um we upload every thursday so check us out over there as i said alan and cole we're loving it over there so come and join us um but without further ado let's get into today's haul okay so first i am going to start with two bits that i picked up from tesco tesco already getting in the halloween and the autumn stuff absolutely love it i bought this ghost mug look at him he's so cute i love him um i bought two of these because obviously rich was gonna want one um i think this was like four pounds but he's so cute the only thing i will say like i bought him because he's cute obviously i didn't buy him for like <sighs> i didn't think about the fact it's got a, a like a lipped rim um which I think will be fine, but just if you're not someone who enjoys a lip rim cup, perhaps this is not the one for you. I also bought this bowl. Look at this uh, spooky melamine bowl. It's uh, plastic. It's for popcorn. It's for Halloween scary movie popcorn. That's what I bought it for. I bought it so that when I'm scaring the absolute bejesus out of myself, um, I could be doing it with a fresh bowl of popcorn. So I absolutely love this. This was £4 as well. So I headed over to the range yesterday and they have quite a few of their like Halloween-y autumn bits in. If you guys remember last year, I did buy the trick or treat neon sign from um, the range that plugs in via USB and they've got some really cute ones again this year. So I bought this one, which says hello pumpkin, which I just thought was really adorable and you know I love my pumpkin. So this one again, USB obviously and rich liked this one so this one says creep it real um it's got little spider webs on here um i think this one was 29 pound and the other one was 24 um again they are usb connected so they you would have to have like a usb connector to plug them in you wouldn't be able to have them too far from somewhere that has usb power but i think they're very cute i really like them they had a couple of other neon signs that i liked but they didn't have like in stock which was a bit sad um i bought these little um bracelet making kits um little halloween beads and things 
I thought these would be really cute to do with my spooky crew on a Tuesday so I just bought these they've got quite a lot of like Halloween craft stuff going on in the range this year um all sorts like paint your own coffin and I mean I'd love to paint my own coffin but like that's a bit morbid but anyway uh paint your own coffin build your own ghost all of these kind of things so if you are looking for crafts to do speaking of crafts um they have this like Halloween pumpkin decoration kit and it's got like all the stuff to make these like really cute faces um on your pumpkins I'm not gonna lie it was the googly eyes that sold it to me like something about these I just saw them and I was like I need them I don't even think they will end up on a pumpkin but who doesn't love a set of googly eyes right next we are moving on to hobbycraft so hobbycraft have got all of their kind of like plush pumpkins and autumnal wreaths and things out this year they've also got and rich picked this up <laughs> this um bat wreath um it's very cute it's got these little metal bats on it um if you know vine you will know the vine that says it's freaking bats i love halloween um that was exactly what rich said when he saw this and was like we need this for the front door um it might be a bit annoying for the dog because it is quite rattly um but that's gonna go on our front door hopefully the wind doesn't knock it off let me pop that down there honestly if you could see the state of this room you'd be surprised again with hobbycraft they have these little neon lights um last year they had the purple bat one this year they have the ghost they also have the pumpkin but the pumpkin in my opinion is not great and they had one that said boo the only thing about these is they have these um little bases that you have to hold them into i don't know so hmv not hmv game had at christmas and they do them throughout the year as well these like neon light signs that you plug in a bit like the ones from the range but they were like shapes and i bought one for nicole uh last year that was like a christmas tree because she was having a christmas tree problem with her cats and i don't know if they might do a ghost one because obviously this you can't hang on a wall you just have to kind of like put it statically somewhere it's still cute and it's battery operated but if you wanted something to hang this wouldn't be great because of the big like thing that it hangs on to um my last thing from hobbycraft is this guy and he is a like metal candle holder shaped like a spider i just thought he was really cute um i'm probably gonna put him on my bedside table he's just giving something that i needed i'm sorry amy that it is a spider um but <laughs> he's just very cute i really loved him um so i picked him up when i was in hobbycraft earlier so i have a couple of random bits that i just got from some weird places and then i've got a few bits that i picked up from hmv so first of all and this is not halloween related at all it's literally just for eleanor look at this machine look at this cute machine how cute um this is a like a blonde machine is that what it's called um this is the blonde machine you can notice he's not gray like normal machine i got this from claire's um i love machine like i love machine like i love machine and squishmallows and um so yeah so i bought this one and i wanted to show eleanor specifically because she shares my love for machine um so that was random and not halloween related at all this cute little jelly cat pumpkin i got this from a like a little gift shop in rushton lakes um if i can think of the name of the shop i will put it somewhere for you um but yeah how cute is he he's just like this little um pumpkin guy i also got a coffee cup bag which i don't have with me otherwise i would show you but he is also jelly cat and he's just really cute and i just thought do you know what i need it the last few bits that i've got from uh hmv so hmv is really random like i always thought of it as just like the place to get like music and dvds and stuff but actually they've got this really cute like a cult line going on at the minute which i absolutely love so first off i have these spooky cat stickers um I just won't focus on them but they're just they were just some very cute like stickers and as you see they were £1.49 and I just thought 
they're cute and there's a cat and a pumpkin so why would you not want that that's just too cute um they have these kitchen magic um kind of like tarot cards um but they have recipes on them so there's one for like a mint and pea soup one for cheese and tomato tarts they've got like um cupcakes and all sorts of stuff so i just thought these would be kind of cool to like give it a go you know spooky in the kitchen there's nothing wrong with spooky in the kitchen so yeah we're gonna try uh, some of the recipes from here then i bought these so these are um pop figure key rings we have um the pumpkin king and we have just a regular jack skeleton i'm sorry phoebe if you're watching because i know how much you hate him but I love The Nightmare Before Christmas and I love these key rings. I'm a big key ring fan at the moment. Just, just, I'm loving it. So when I saw these two, I was like, I have to grab them. So I mentioned earlier that I play horror games over on Twitch with Nicole and we play two games predominantly and that is Phasmophobia and Demonologist. They're both ghost hunting games. Both have tarot cards as like a special item and so when i saw this mug that says the coffee in like a tarot card style i had to buy it because i just feel like this would be a great mug for me to be drinking my coffee in while i'm playing the game because it's just it's themed i love a, a tarot card with a skeleton in it this is amazing um this was 7.99 still left the sticker on it the last thing from hmv is a talking board dish plate so this is like um for like putting on your bedside table and like putting your jewelry in it and stuff i thought this was very cute um you know little ouija board moment and this leads me in to my next piece it seems like i'm moving around a lot in this video it's because every time i do a section i have to get up and grab all the stuff because there is just not enough room on this bed for me and everything else that i've bought anyway my next piece was not something that i ever thought i would have in my halloween collection and it is this this is a real life ouija board um just to get a little up close for you um this was a gift so this was a gift from nicole um she knows i love the occlute as we call it um and she bought this ouija board for me i feel like i'm too close now to the camera um story of my life but yeah it's a real ouija board obviously it has its own planchette we don't keep it together because if you know anything about ouija boards you don't keep them together um but yeah this is just a really lovely piece to have it's been sat downstairs in my living room by the fireplace and honestly just looks lush so yeah i love this piece this is like it's proper wood it's got all of the markings and everything it's important to say i haven't used it yet i haven't, like, I haven't used it yet um but yeah this is just a really cute piece to have um in my in my collection so i'm really happy with this the very last like non tk max home sense piece that i have to show you guys um kind of brings my love of several things together so this is the hocus pocus lego set i absolutely love it um i wasn't sure if i was going to buy it um when it first came out i thought i don't know should i buy it and then it was my birthday and they only had one left on the shelf so so I had to have it, didn't I? Um, this is absolutely lovely. I love this piece. I will put in a um, like a better photo for you guys to see it as well. I love modular builds, like Lego modular builds. So I'm hoping that this Hocus Pocus house is going to go with all of my other Lego modular builds that I have. But I had to have this. It's just it's Disney. It's Halloween. It's just everything. So I have this. Um, I might do a video when i actually build it i don't know my mum said that i should she said i should do uh, a video at least like even like reviewing the kit maybe or building it i don't know but this is my my lego halloween piece so we are starting into the home sense tk max 
portion of the video because you guys know they do Halloween and they do it so well. I think obviously it's because it's linked with TJ Maxx and Home Goods, and America does Halloween so much better than we do. So I'm going to start with like soft things um, and then we'll work our way through. So the very first thing I have, and I'm going to do him because he's just lying here chilling with Dylan, is this guy. Look how cute he is. He's got little arms and this little cute little face and he's got little feet. Um, and he comes with this little blanket, which I don't know if you guys can see on there. Um, he's so cute. I had to have him and the dog hates him because he's got a face and it looks like a toy. But I had to have this. Um, I'm going to put this downstairs. I'm going to put the little blanket um, on the sofa that Roscoe sleeps on. So that is my first. Like, just how cute is he? He's living his cute life. Staying with the pillow theme, we have this guy. He can't see out of one of his eyes because he's too, he's just too fluffy. Are his eyes even there? Um, but anyway, so we have this guy. It's just like a corner fluff pillow situation. I loved it. I couldn't not have him. And while I was with him, so I'm just gonna put him, like you could just sit there for a sec, my guy. Um, this, this guy, like, look at him look at his cute little face his cute little features like and they glow in the dark i'm not even sure what you would say he is he kind of looks like a sprite type situation um but yeah he's just cute so i bought him so we have these two guys they just sit together just there cute um my last few bits of like fluffy items i have these boo pillows look how cute these are um, they've got a little um, haunted house situation at the bottom. I do have two of these because I like to buy things that match. Last year, I don't know if you guys remember, but I bought the Ouija pillow and I only bought one. Why? I don't know because I'm an idiot. Anyway, <laughs> what it was was I was holding out for the white one. I wanted the white one and the black one, but I couldn't find the white one again. Anyway, this year they had that pillow again and it sold out real quick but i did manage to snag one so i have two ouija pillows now the only difference is the one from last year was like a duck feather and the one from this year is like more of a normal stuffing but it doesn't matter but anyway i've got these two boo pillows these are going to go downstairs on my sofa alongside the ouija pillows just to change out all of my sofa cushions because i have different sofa cushions for um christmas but i didn't have completely different sofa cushions for halloween so now i do my last two squashy items but they're not squashy they're not like pillows or anything are my towels so i bought these very cute kitchen towels this side has like a white strip with ghosts on it and this side is just ghosts with a little orange trim and i also bought hand towels to go with so they do match there'll be one upstairs and one downstairs of these and then this obviously goes in the kitchen um i do find like a lot of the hand towels that they do like specialist hand towels can be not very absorbent they're not like they look great, don't get me wrong, but they're not very absorbent. But these ones do feel like they're really good quality. It does say super absorbent on them, so we will see. We are going to start with the last few bits. We're going to start with candles, because candles. And then we're going to move on to just some other bits and pieces that I picked up. More like homeware stuff. And then my favourite piece so far that I bought from HomeSense. So candle-wise... I'm really torn at this time of year because I do love all the Halloween candles but I do feel like all of the pumpkin ones tend to be too sweet like they're too sickly sweet I don't like it so I bought this one and it says I put a spell on you which is very cute and it is an orange and clove candle now this one is the orange is stronger than the clove I think like in a way it's a very it does smell all to me but it also kind of smells Christmassy. So for me, this is like a good like Burr month candle. So because we all know that the months that end in Burr are the best months of the year. So this one is $8.99. It's quite a big candle. So it will take me quite a while to get through. But it hasn't got that sickly sweet smell, which is why I bought it. The next thing that I bought was this like potpourri 
um, pumpkin. It's got like a cinnamon bag inside. Now, if you guys know Rich, you'll know that he is really funny with smells like because he has um, bad sinuses and some smells can give him a real bad headache. This one is not too bad, like he doesn't hate it, but it couldn't be like, you couldn't sniff it like I can. Um, but it does have a hole in the bottom, so you can take the little cinnamon potpourri bag out if you didn't like it and just have it as a decoration. Or when it stops smelling, you could just put something else in it and go from there. My <laughs> next candles, I love them, I do. Honestly, look at this. Look at this. This is my little ghost. Look at her eyelashes, bro. Um, <laughs> this is my little ghost candle. She unfortunately has a haunted marshmallow cocoa um, smell. I say unfortunately because again, it's a sickly sweet smell. It kind of, I don't really like chocolate scented candles, so I'm not a big lover of the candle in this, but the, the actual like candle itself was just too cute to pass up. So cute in fact, that I bought this one as well. So this one is a pink version, um, again with the very cute eyelashes. She has a different scent. She is creepy cotton candy donut and you would think that this one would smell really sickly sweet compared to this one but actually this one smells amazing. I really love this one. Um, it's not too sweet. It definitely, I mean I think it smells a little bit more like an apple, like a candy apple than it does candy corn but this one is very cute and then we have this boy <laughs> so i promise there are only three of them this one is so cute look at him and all of his little glory he doesn't have the eyelashes but that's okay um he is a maple pumpkin this again is a quite a sweet scent it's not it's not the worst but it's definitely not the best i definitely think of all three the pink one has the best scent for me um but these are just too cute they just they're gonna sit together and just look really cute so that's what I bought those for better line them down I don't want them to get damaged um now let's move on to some more like homey stuff I guess like for the kitchen so starting off strong we bought these uh baking cups oh look I can see you guys in the in the plastic um, these are they've got like um iridescent spiders and spider webs on them there are 50 in a pack because i'm gonna try making some halloween cupcakes this year um so i thought i would grab those i have this cute little um like fruit basket and it has a spider in it which is just very cute um to put our fruit in in the kitchen making sure the spooky goes all the way through the house so I love this and then Rich picked it up and was like oh I really like this so I was like okay we'll buy it because if he likes a spooky and I like a spooky we're buying it it's ending off in our house okay <laughs> something a bit random I have this uh pumpkin spice uh hand lotion um from Peck Sniff ah uh, so I have been using the hand wash from Lidl the nectarine hand wash so it's kind of like supposed to be a dupe for the um Jo Malone because they do like a pomegranate one and all of that kind of stuff and the nectarine one smells amazing but it ran out and I haven't managed to get any more but I saw this pumpkin spice um hand gel it smells amazing it really is it's a really strong scent though so if you're not into strong scented hand wash then this perhaps isn't the one for you but I absolutely loved it so I bought two of these I've currently got one in my bathroom upstairs and it just smells amazing you know I love my coffee like there's no there's no surprise about that so I bought these absolutely adorable travel mugs um, so this one has kind of like skulls and jack-o-lanterns and like a crow and a moon situation on it and this one has ghosts and the cats and there's like a dog on there and just it doesn't want to focus anymore because it wants to focus on my face but these were just really cute I thought I always take coffee to work every day and why not have a Halloween um, tumbler to take them to work in um, I also saw this so this is a glow-in-the-dark mug so it's quite a large mug I thought it'd be really good for like soup and stuff but it does glow in the dark it says witch's brew just on the inside rim here um, but yeah, I just thought this would be really good for soup and just, I loved it. I feel like if you had more that were the same, it's kind of got like that rim at the bottom. So you might be able to like stack them. Um, but I could only find the one, sadly. 
Uh, these stack, however, <laughs> these are iridescent spider webs. One on a pink and one on a black, and they stack together. They're by Cobwebs and Cauldrons. Um, I saw these today when I was in Home Sense, and I was like, do you know what? I need them. I don't know why I need them, but I do need them. I have a mug problem. Um, you know, what can I do? Speaking of mug problems, <laughs> I bought this guy. So this is a massive, when I say massive, this is a 20 ounce mug and this is a 16 ounce cereal bowl. So it's a little set that comes together, just a little skeleton body and a little like sugar skull kind of looking bowl. Um, they have two designs of this, so obviously I got both. Um, this one has a little pumpkin hat and then he's got more of the sugar skull body. So actually I don't know if maybe kind of the bowl and the body from the bowl, bowl from this one and the body from this one and vice versa would kind of go better together. But anyway, I did buy both um, because who doesn't want 20 ounces of a hot drink? Do you know what I mean? So keeping on theme, we have bowls. So <laughs> these are some little like nibble bowls. Um, they've got two spiderweb ones and then one that has like um ghosts and all which is hats and a skull and it's got like a little wooden board underneath because these are designed for nibbles so you just put the bowls into the wooden board to stop it like falling over i guess i thought these are really cute i would probably use the bowls for cereal rather than nibbles but some people have cereal as a nibble so why not and my final thing um before i show you my favorite piece from this year so far are these cute little um like candy dishes i guess they have this one which is the pumpkin and it's just got this black and purple base and then they have this one which is a mummy um i just thought these were really cute they did have a couple of other ones they had like one that was a cat and i think they had one that was maybe like a skeleton or a vampire but i didn't love it as much as i love these two so this one is mine obviously because because obviously and this one is richard's um honestly the amount of pumpkin things i have in my house currently i feel like alan the pumpkin queen and i'm living for that honestly i am i absolutely love this time of year so i am i'm ready can you see the see the similarities so this brings me on to my favorite tk maxx home sense piece of this year um last year they had these ghosts right it's three ghosts they were all together they were holding the word spooky they look really cute and I saw them really early on in my like Halloween like decor hunting videos and I didn't pick them up for whatever reason. I don't know why. It's like a small one and there was a tall one and I didn't buy either and I really wanted them and I spent ages looking for them and I couldn't find them and I was really sad about it. So when we walked into TK Maxx in Milton Keynes and you bet your ass that Rich saw this. He was like, right, we're buying it. We're buying it now. Um, look at him and her and oh it's just cute i just love this piece um just something about it screams to me i love them i love ghosts i love the whole ghost thing um so they were cute you do have to be careful when you buy stuff like this from tk maxx just because sometimes they aren't great like they have chips missing or their paint is missing but if you find one where maybe there's something I'm just balancing on my shoulder because it's quite heavy if you find something where maybe um you could like patch the paint up that is great so we found these guys and I absolutely love them um so we had these we've had these for a while maybe like three weeks today when we went into um home sense which found this guy Look at him, just on his own with his little pumpkin and the little hat, just living life. And if you see, it is this guy. They're the same. So we had to pick him up because he just really completes our ghosty collection. Um, I feel like all of them sat together. It's just, it's a cute vibe that I love and I'm here for it. So they are my absolute favorite find from home sense this year and it's just because i so badly wanted them last year and i really didn't think i was going to get a chance to get them again so i'm really really happy with them so that is everything that i have bought this year so far um i've been collecting things since july and you know because that's when it starts to come out that's when the things in tk maxx and bits and pieces just come out and i've just been picking up little bits as i go through um 
I'm really glad that I've actually got to sit down and film this video. It's been really nice to sit down and record and really get into my like spooky zone. Um, I'll also be able to start using the cups and things that I had because I've been like, oh no, I can't use them until I film my video. So I'm really glad that I'm able to like use the cups and things now that I filmed this video um but it's been absolutely great getting back in front of the camera filming something for you guys I know um I'm gonna be really happy having a, another video up on my channel um obviously as I said I have been getting back into filming and that link for Alan and Cole is in the description so do go and check that out for me um but yeah I'm hoping to be back with another video as I said I'm going to do like a little life update video because things have changed a little bit for us um over the last little while so I just thought like a little update video perhaps like a little video why I haven't filmed for the last year um and then yeah maybe more vlog style content I'm planning on doing like a little review of some stuff that I've got and some things that I've purchased recently so yeah stick around we are going to get the channel back up and running and I'm just really glad that I managed to film a spooky video as my first video back I just love it it just it fills me with a joy that I needed so I'm really glad that you guys stopped in if you've watched the whole video thank you so much uh, for being here with me I hope that I will see you in my next video no matter when that is um, and if I don't see you here check me out over on Alan and Cole uh, or over on Twitch also if you want to come and see what demonologists and phasmophobia are about if you want to see that tarot card cut come and join us over there um we're actually playing like this video i'm recording it's sunday now and we are actually playing phasmophobia tomorrow because there's a massive update that's happened so i will put my link to my twitch down below and also to nicole's twitch down below so if you want to check us out playing phasmophobia feel free you know we always love to see new faces over there um and until the next video i will see you guys soon bye I would like to promise that I don't have a squashmallow problem, but I do. Like, without doubt, have a problem because this isn't all of them. Um, yeah, I might need to talk to someone about that. <laughs>